On Saturday afternoons, Jimmy and Bill like to go hiking in the woods. There are always things to do and things to see. And it's always pleasant resting on the bank of the stream. Look! Well, this is a good place for horses to drink, isn't it? It makes Jimmy thirsty. Now, what do you suppose Jimmy is going to do? Well, he's thirsty, and he wants a drink of water. But he is stopped by his brother. What's the matter, Jimmy wants to know? He's thirsty, and the water looks so good and cool. But Bill says he should not drink that water, no matter how good it looks. Why not? Do you know why we shouldn't drink water from a stream, or a lake, or a swimming pool? Because even though animals drink it, and it looks clean, water that we don't know is pure might make us sick. Water is wonderful. Every day, wherever we are, we get thirsty and we need water. We take in new, clean water and the body uses it. Then the used water leaves the body, carrying away things the body no longer needs. You've blown your breath against a cold glass and watched the glass steam over, haven't you? Did you know it is water in your breath that you see on the cold glass? Water your body is giving off. Look at Jimmy. He's perspiring. This is another way our bodies give off waste water, through the skin in perspiration. And of course, when we go to the toilet, our bodies give off waste water. Do you know why we don't share drinking glasses or cups with each other? Do you know any more rules for when to drink water and when not to drink? At school, do you have rules for taking turns at the drinking fountain? Do you know why you should never put your hands into a drinking fountain? Do you know why you should never push or shove anyone taking a drink? Do you know how to do your part to be sure you and others have the clean water you need to drink each day? <laughs>